Overnight, tensions running high outside the Supreme Court. The draft opinion shows the court overturning Roe v. Wade in a blistering ruling. What will the future of abortion look like in America? It might look a lot like the past. The illegal termination of pregnancy has reached epidemic proportions in this country. What do you think that people tend to misunderstand about the lay of the land before the decision? The answer is lots. I'm Susan Matthews, and on this season of Slow Burn, we're looking back at the years leading up to Roe v. Wade. Over 50 years later, I still don't know exactly what happened to me. It's always women who have the abortions, but it's always men who make the laws. And that stark reality hit me like a punch in the gut. We'll tell the forgotten story of the first woman ever convicted of manslaughter for getting an abortion. Women are told, don't worry, it's never going to be you. It's going to be the person who does the abortion. And here's a case where actually, no, we're coming for you too. We'll introduce you to the unlikely Catholic power couple who helped ignite the pro-life movement. And your heart just sinks and you think, these aren't blobs of tissue. These are These are babies. And we'll look at how a rookie Supreme Court justice, appointed by Nixon, tackled one of the most pivotal cases in American history. Frankly, when they decided the case, they were all of one mind that they had solved this issue once and for all. Slow Burn Season 7, Roe v. Wade, premieres Wednesday, June 1st. Subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts. And I actually remember Dad saying, we will not live to see Roe overturned, but you kids will.